Has RGB gone too far? Well, I'm not sure, but what I do know is with G-Shock's new release of gamer-themed watches, you can finally match your watch to your epic gaming setup. This is the G-Shock GA100 RGB1 Garish Rainbow Gamers Watch. And yes, they're actually calling their own watch Garish, which only means obtrusively bright and showy, but I thought it was pretty funny they included that in the official name. Besides, it's not even the most bright and showy G-Shock range out there. Looking at you, MTG. Anyway, upon the dial, we can see some pretty wicked colors which are applied through a process known as vapor deposition. The most obvious color is that bright blue found near the top, which I actually quite like. It stands out against the black case and makes for a nice pop of color. The other colors are pretty difficult to see, but they certainly are there. After the blue, it goes down and transitions into a purple, then a greeny yellow before sort of just fading away altogether near the bottom of the dial. Another pop of color is found in the tips of the hands, which take on a bright green color, very similar to Lumabrite. There is a small dot of loom inside these green tips, but don't expect too much from them. Moving out from the dial and onto the case and strap, which both use resin as the main material. This resin material takes on a glossy black finish, which kind of reminds me of latex. So if you're into that, then by all means, click the link in the description to buy this watch. That being said, it fits nice and snug on the wrist, despite its large measurements. Lug to lug will be 55 mil, diameter 51.2 millimeters, and thickness is 16.9. A double prong clasp and buckle in stainless steel is included, so no worries there, and the case back is also stainless steel. Handy features include weld time with 48 cities, a stopwatch and daily alarms, pretty standard stuff for a Casio, but always nice to have. And that's pretty much all there is to say about this watch. If you love RGB, then maybe this is the one for you. Like I said earlier, there's a link in the description if you want to buy this watch. If you don't want to buy the watch, but you still enjoyed the video, go ahead and give the like button some love and consider subscribing for more watch content. Thank you for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.